A very big hello to all my Chitko champions out there. So we are meeting after a short break. I was on a short break. And within this short break, a lot of things happened. Yeah, your results came in. And the first thing that I want to tell you guys is, before getting into this, is that whatever your results have been, okay, if it was good, celebrate if it was bad do not weep around it okay do not just put your focus on that rather than shift your focus on some other doors which are opening for you guys i know it's quite obvious to be sad for something if you have put your hard work into it but my dear children in life no there are certain situations where certain other doors open for you and they might that might be much 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 better so please uh, make sure you are uh, what say looking at those things as well if you always keep your focus on the closed door you might miss out all these open doors which are there so make sure you are doing that and if you need any help from our end we are here to help you out put it down in the comment section uh, in whatever ways i can i'll be definitely helping you out yeah and today i'm going to talk about national institute of engineering college which is there in mysore it has two campuses i'll be talking about both of these campuses north as well as south i'll be talking about the placement rates i'll be talking about the cutoff which was there for the previous year about the fees and some children previously asked uh, for the fees of management quota as well so this time i could readily find it so i put it down here you will be seeing that and there's a good news for you guys somewhere in the middle of the video you will be seeing it it's regarding the fees i'll be telling you about that as well and apart from that what do i have i have a, a bit information about the hostel facilities as well so these are the things that i'm going to cover up and please make sure you're all ears okay and please make sure if you like this video do not forget to click on the like button share it with your friends who are in need and also put in down the comment section that ma'am the video was good it was informative or ma'am can i can you please do this i know i know a lot of you have put down comments in the previous videos well i've just come back and this is the first video that i'm recording right away yeah but i'll be soon taking all of your uh, what say um wishes under consideration i'll be doing something about it as well yeah so now no more chit chat i'll be getting ahead with nie college mysuru so national institute of engineering is a name it was established in the year 1946 it has two campuses south campus which is then the mandwadi road uh mysore yeah and north campus is there uh, in number 50 kurgali village hutagali industrial area mysore itself okay and it is affiliated to vishveshwarya technological university now the south campus and the north campus is different according to the courses that they are providing there are different courses being provided in both of these campuses my dear children and uh, also some courses are aided courses aided courses and government is aiding over here that means the fees would be comparatively lesser for these courses so aided courses you will be finding in south campus south campus has both aided courses as well as unaided courses unaided courses as in the government is not fully funding and that particular thing so fees would be obviously a bit higher in comparison to the aided one so here you find aided and unaided okay and over here you are going to find only unaided courses in the north campus the north campus has more recognition i'm talking uh, according to the courses that is available okay so computer science course is available in the north campus and uh, because of its cut off it's ranked in top 11 colleges of what karnataka where you can enter through kct as well as comet k okay and i hope i will be able to explain you much better about it when we go ahead with the video a uh, brief introduction has been done now going ahead with the fee okay so case at fee for aided courses i told you in south campus there are certain courses which are aided for them the fees is rupees 42866 now this fee structure was put down in the previous year this year obviously it can be changed okay and now for unaided courses for unaided courses if you are going through kct it is rupees 1,7495. it was like this in the previous year now for comet k Okay, in Comet K, you can do not have aided and unaided courses. You just have unaided. Okay, government is not going to help over here. Give the money, right? So over here, it is rupees two lakh eighty one thousand four hundred seventy seven seven. If you are getting in through Comet K, and I am going to tell you what are the courses that you can get entry through Comet K. What are the courses that you can get entry through KCET as well? Now, this was the fee structure that was put down by KEA the previous year. 
and according to this only I told you the fees for aided courses and aided colleges is 42,000 I told you right so it's been similarly for UVC it is this for unaided co courses it is this and uh, you have a lot of things for SNQ category the fees would be lesser for SCST it would be even more lesser for category 1 annual income up to 2.5 lakh for them also the fees would be different okay so similarly you have different different fee structure whenever the new uh, fee structure would be coming in we would be making up a video on that so that you do not have any confusion but at least have this in your head that this is a tentative uh, fee structure which was there in the previous year now for the children who ask for management quota seats according to what they have put is that they have put down the courses name okay and uh, dev development fee collected on one time basis is 2 lakh over here it is 10 lakh here it is 2 lakh and this and that and whatever is there tuition fee collected on yearly basis my dear children it is one time okay and yearly basis also you have separate fee and that would be the comet k fee that would be what the comet k fee so comet k fee is not been yet released right so we never know what is it actually as of now let's see whatever comes through but it has to be paid on an yearly basis now this is a one-time fees that is what an yearly fees is quite much right so in comet k itself the tuition fees is quite on the higher end and here itself if it is 10 lakh then obviously it would be bigger amount so just wanted to you to have an idea please do not spend too much if at all you think that you won't get that thing in return after your education has been done okay so the best thing that i always say even though i'm a teacher i'm here giving you a review i would suggest you to talk to children out there who are studying in the college as of now ask for the real-time placement which is there ask whether they have all the opportunities good opportunities uh, there or not or is it just uh, some study and some theory and some stuff like that which won't be of any use for you guys so you have to do that inquiry from your end that's something that i cannot obviously control so you might have friends studying here and there please talk to them not just one person but to a few of them okay one for for me probably the office might be really good for someone else this office might not be that great we never know right similarly everyone has a different opinion so make sure you're talking to at least two to three people around there who are studying in this college and as i always say do not just ask that how fun is the college listen you get entry into the college you will be having fun by yourself any ways okay you make friends you have fun that's that's the theory that's how it works so whatever wherever college you go whatever college you go into that's how it works so please don't ask about the fun aspect that comes along the way you should be asking about the study part of things and also about the placement and all the facilities which are available in the college make sure you're doing that now the time for good news that i was talking about so they have put something in their official website which i wanted to share with you guys with you guys that is for cet quota that is kcet quota my dear children to encourage meritorious students scholarships for students who have excellent academic record will be awarded as detailed below so 100 percent tuition fee wave off will be there for cet rank which is within thousand yeah and over here 75 percent tuition fee wave off if your rank is within 1500 similarly if it is within 2550% tuition fee but please note that only top 10 students will be considered under the above category for one year for what one year only but at least that one year is obviously a lot for some right so make sure you are inquiring a bit more about it as well okay if you're looking for admission into this particular college works okay Chalo. so yeah if you talk about the national institutional framing ranking framework so over here nrf ranking was uh, between one th 151 to 200 this is the band in which this college falls if you're talking about the university ranking vishweshwara technological university it is on 75th position my dear children okay so this is uh, this ranking is based on the facilities which is there the placement record the uh, what's say um what you, the qualification of the faculties who are there who are teaching in this particular college and all these things okay now the main thing that we have is the placement record my dear children so before getting ahead into the placement record i would want you to have a look around at this particular thing because it is very important to understand this first and that is 
The courses that are offered, I told you there are two campuses, South and North, and in South campus, you have aided courses as well. That means the fees is completely lesser. What are those courses? Civil Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering, my dear children. The seat which was there, it was 60, 60, 60 the previous year, and the cutoff for 2024, the last cutoff, the extended cutoff, was this. So, if a person has a rank within this, can get into Electronics and Communication Engineering, okay, in this particular college fine but remember the seats are 60 now I'll tell you I have told in the previous videos as well some ch uh, some children had some confusion so I want you to hear me out really really carefully the thing is since the paper okay was on to the easier to moderate side what is going to happen is that if they are fixing if there is no change in the seat matrix they have not updated the seat matrix yet but suppose it is 60 Okay, there might be so many children who are going to get good marks, right? Now, all of you cannot get entry to this particular college. So, what do they do? They have a slight change in the cutoff rank. Okay, they would be having a slight change in the cutoff rank. And it could be tighter. That means the cutoff which is going to go, it is going to be higher than this. When I say higher, that means... If 10864 is this year, then it was the previous year, then this year it could be 9000 or it could be 8000. The cutoff is higher. That means it is, it is difficult to get entry. That is what I mean by saying it is going on the higher side. Okay. So over here, this was the cutoff. If the seat matrix remains the same or something happened, this cutoff range could also differ. We never know about it, my dear children. Okay, so I want you to be prepared that if you are someone who is having a better rank than this, okay, then you can put this college in your list. If you think that your rank is around 11,000 or something like that, put this college in a separate list that is optional because we never know whether whether you can get into, into this particular college or not. I hope I am a, I'm able to make you understand at least a bit of things out there. Yes, so this is for the aided courses, my dear children. Okay, now going ahead, you have, so the previous year it was 9201, this, uh, previous to previous year it was this. And the previous year it was 10,864. Now again, it can go back to this condition as well. Okay, we never know. Okay, if they're increasing the seat, if they're increasing the seat, it can be the same as well. If there is limited number of seat, then it can go back to this condition as well. Okay, we never know. Now, yeah, so the overall range, if, if you want to get into this particular uh, college for aided courses, like these courses, your rank should be somewhere somewhere from 0 to this, 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 this number which is there, okay? There is no zero rank, basically one, two, whatever number is there. Now, unaided courses in the South Campus, you have Civil Engineering again, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering and Mechanical Engineering, my dear children. The seat number, seat, now seat matrix was this, like this, the previous year, okay? And if you see the cutoff, uh, the highest it was for electronics and communication engineering which was 15265 the same thing goes over here for comet k as well it was 29308 now the code is also important for kcet you have a different code for unaided courses in south campus and you have a different code for aided courses in the south campus so make sure you for example civil engineering is here civil engineering unaided courses also there so make sure you're looking for e022 if you're looking for aided courses Okay, so these codes are really, really important. If you're, if you're going through Comet K, this is the code that you're having. Okay, now, yeah. So your rank, my dear children, for uh, KCET, it should be from 1 to 6, 8, 2, 5, 6, if you want to get into this college. This was for the previous year, but as I said, it could change a bit this year. For Comet K, is this. This is the highest and there would be the lowest one, which is there. It was for mechanical engineering. Okay, now going ahead, North Campus, this is our area of interest. Why? Because over here you have computer science and engineering and this is what most students look out. Now, I'm not saying not everyone looks out for this. Obviously, there are other children who have other ambitions, other goals and things like that. But yes, uh, so the ranking which we generally do is on the basis of CS and things like that, which is why it is on the 11th position. Now, for computer science and engineering, 
uh, which has AI ML as a sub thing. So it is 11,312 through Comet Gate is 12,789. Now Computer Science and Engineering Plane, it, is 8, it was 8,726 the previous year and over here it was 10,182. Now as I said, if the number of seats are going to be the same, then probably they are going to uh, change the cutoff into something on this side that is 7000 or something like that okay so because yeah i hope you understand i'm not explaining too much to make you confused so information science and engineering it is 11690 and there it is 18058 okay this is the college code again there are different college codes please remember that as well now over here the cutoff was uh, the range falls from here from uh, first rank to 11,312 if you want to get into this particular college. This was for the previous year, but still I'm telling you. Even from Comet K, it is 1 to 18,058. If you want to get into this college, you're not worried about any, uh, what say, courses that you want to. You're not specific about the courses. Then basically, you should be having a rank in between this number that you see or see on the screen. Okay, basically from 1 to whatever and from 1 to this. Cool. Chalo. So, and this was for the previous year. So, you see the number over here, the previous to previous year was 5802. Then it got increased to 8726 because the previous year the paper was tougher and probably because of the seats and stuff like that. Now, this year, since it is easier to moderate, you can expect it to go back to the previous condition again or somewhere in the middle of it. Okay, so you should be having a good rank. Make sure you are having a list of colleges ready before the option entry. At that point of time, you have so many things in your head, my dear. I'm telling you, so make sure you're preparing all of this thing. Uh, now itself, do not delay it. Yeah, so that's all. And now, talking about the hostel. So I went ahead, I went ahead with the North Campus and South Campus. Um, so in the North Campus, it was written that yes, there is uh, was a hostel facilities available for uh, uh, males as well as females, so it is there. When I went ahead with the South Campus site, I could find something like this. Now, this was the proposed fee for year 2023-24, my dear children. So there are two hostels. Yuvika and Yashvika for females and one for boys. So for boys, triple occupancy is one lakh rupees. And uh, here, Yuvika, as you can see over here, you have si single, double, triple, quadruple, everything. Occupancies are there. And this is the fee structure that you had the previous year. Okay, or previous to previous year. Yes. Now, the um, deposit of 10,000 is required to be paid by fresh students. The fee maintained uh, mentioned above includes room rent, utility charges such as electricity, water, housekeeping, etc. And also the mess facility. That's a good thing, right? The fee mentioned above is for two semesters, excluding the vacation period. So if you're staying in the vacation period, you have to pay around 300 extra. Any damages would be charged directly to the students. Now, this, as I said, is for this particular year as been mentioned about right now i could not find a number that you can call on for asking about hostel facilities which is why i didn't put usually i put right but i didn't find that and i didn't want you to basically go and inquire on normal numbers out there because they might not respond well so which is why i refrained myself from putting it uh, but if you as i said if you have some friends please talk about them and if you are some if you are someone if you're watching this video and if you're someone who's studying out there or but, uh, if you are a parent and your kids are studying out there, please put down your review about this college below so that everyone gets an idea of it. Okay, and please put an unbiased uh, review so that uh, they have a good uh, say, knowledge about the college itself. Yeah, so this is all about NIE, that is National Institute of Engineering, my dear children. If you have any more doubts lingering around it, please le do let me know in the comment section below. I'll be really, really happy to help. And I'm wishing you all the best. Please take care of yourself. You are going to end up somewhere really, really nice. Yeah, God bless you all. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.